Back, this is the first part where I'm unboxing a new product. It's the Leta Panda uh, development board. It's based on the Intel platform Cherry Trail Z8 300 quad core processor. It runs up to clock speed of uh, 1.8 GHz. It's a quad core processor. It has 2 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage. And there's an option for another version with 4 GB of RAM or also 64 GB eMMC also it has one uh, USB version 3 interface and two others version 2 USB ports so you have a total of 5 external USB ports more than enough and it has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth also of course GPIOs interfaces and connections to the sensors also, external sensors, so you can use it for IoT projects and also for also as a mini PC you can use it. So that's basically it. And also you can use a case, of course, not included in this default package. So let's start with unboxing. This is the external Wi-Fi antenna, nice sticker, and this is the connector here that hooks up into the board and it comes with safety instructions to use only 5 volts to amps power supply unit so be careful and this is of course the board very nice board it runs Windows version 10 and you need to buy a license if you want to use it and here you can see a series of uh, connections here, connectors that's for the sensors you can use it with external sensors install Vi Visual Studio from Microsoft and all the libraries and just do IoT and use it all kinds of projects including robotics and whatever you want so you can see here the CPU and the memory area they've added a passive cooling here and here and also on the back side, additional passive cooling, so you don't need to buy any heat sink, nothing. Let's start with the right side. Here you have the LAN connection, uh, headphones, micro SD card. And this is the OTG where you need to connect a power supply unit. You need 5 volts, uh, 2 amps to make it work. It's not included, but you can buy any standard power supply unit and use it. On the left side you have the HDMI, uh, USB version 3 and 2 version 2 uh, USB ports also. So more than enough. And you have the, the GPIO interfaces here and here for Adriano uh, motherboard, Adriano board sorry. And also that's it, you also have another interface here for a, a touch panel you can also buy a 7 inch touch panel and connect it so you have an external interface so you can buy it from the company a, a casing for the board also not included you can buy pretty nice board so that's it looks nice in the second part video I'll show you how it works under Windows environment so stay tuned and thanks for watching and bye Back to my second part video where I'm showing you how this board works under Windows version 10 system and of course there's an option to update the firmware with a USB stick so you need to extract the image file and put it on the disk and connect it to a USB port and the firmware is automatically updated so let's turn the system on and I'll show you how this board performs So right now it should boot, you can see the logo of the company here. It takes a few seconds, but pretty fast, there you go, Windows 10. I'm using a nice keyboard from Ritech K18, very recommended, very cool. 
So let's start. This is Windows, of course, very smooth operation. Of course, you have a virtual keyboard here in Windows. And all the settings, Wi Fi, of course, support, everything works. You have also Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer, sorry. So everything works. Internet works, of course, so pretty fast. You have a special pre installed app called Arduino that's for connecting an Arduino board to this uh, development board. So you can basically program the board through this uh, Intel uh, board. So you can use and load programs. Do some sketches, logic, logic uh, sketches, and basically program. So that's the pre-installed, and CPU Z is also pre-installed. Also, I've installed it to check the hardware, hardware information. So I'll show you in a second. Here you can see the processor Intel Atom X5 Z8 300. Or the brand name Cherry Trail or code name, and it runs up to 1.8 GHz. Right now, it's running up about 480 MHz. 1.8 is for maximum clock speed. Information about the motherboard, memory, and 2 GB of RAM, graphic. Also, graphic uh, GPU also works really fast with Kodi, so you can play uh, 4K and 2K videos. I've installed Kodi and also tested a few samples. Everything works fast. You can see Kodi should lo uh, load very fast. So, Kodi not a problem for 2K and 4K videos. Kodi is version 16.1 for Windows. So Kodi also works, checked and verified. So basically you have a mini PC here, or Windows workstation, and a development board, all in one. And that's basically it. Works very fast. Internet Explorer of course you have here. Your Wi Fi and Bluetooth. I'm using this keyboard, very recommended K18 from Brightek, and it's a very cool keyboard and very recommended. It has a touchpad uh, surface, so that's basically Windows 10, very smooth operation. And you can use it as a mini PC or a development board, what you choose. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my quick uh, demo. Thanks for watching, and of course, you're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and bye.